black truffles. Gorgeous, expensive, underground fungi. So to find truffles, let's say you want to hunt for truffles, you do need something with a better nose than a human. Um, so you need a dog or a pig. <laughs> so in Italy, um, you know, you, you could go out and train a pig, but the problem with pigs is that they actually consumed a good amount of what they found before the hunter could go grab it from them, whereas a dog is far more loyal and um, will, will stop itself from just eating the truffle. So yeah, and there are actually in the Pacific Northwest, there are people that train dogs um, to be truffle hunters, so it depends on your dog and whether it's smart enough to figure it out, but you could um, look up Birch, for example, in British Columbia, and she trains truffle drop dogs. So, and then what you do as far as finding truffles is you'd hunt in uh, Christmas tree farms or hazelnut farms or forests. So Douglas fir forests, uh, younger forests actually, not old growth, usually under 50 years old is what you want, a stand of Douglas fir. And then you bring your dog out and, and hopefully the dog is um, trained well enough to find these little guys for you. Yeah, and it, it'd be really fun. I wish I had a dog. So what truffles do is buy their aroma because these are underground by nature, right? So they're a mushroom that grows underneath the ground or fruiting body of a mushroom that grows underneath the ground. And to deliver its spores around the um, forest, what it wants is it wants humans and squirrels and deer and animals basically to eat it. So it's going to attract us to it by its aroma. So that's why it needs to be super strong and um, almost pheromonal. So squirrels will smell these out, dig them up in the forest, um, and then hide them in caches. So that's why sometimes you can find these um, sort of squirrel holes in the forest. And if you look in them, you might, you know, you might be lucky enough to find its truffle cache or just a bunch of nuts. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so. Truffles want us to eat them and poop them out in the forest. And, and yeah, then, then more truffles will grow from that. So uh, this mushroom really does want us to uh, hunt it, harvest it, and consume it. Join me in my truffle cooking class. I teach you three courses, this lovely soup, uh, how to make handmade pasta with truffles, and then a dessert even with truffles. Cooking class for Valentine's Day. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs>